In this video, we're going to look at my five top long jump takeoff drills. First up, it's the step swing drill, and you do just that. You step into the takeoff and swing the hip to create forward momentum. You break the movement, you pause the movement between each takeoff. This teaches you how to swing the hip and hold your position. The next version is done quicker, so it's another step swing drill, but done at greater speed, and there's more emphasis on the foot contact as well going into the takeoff. So as the foot comes back to the track surface, just above it, you swing the hip into the takeoff to create that forward movement. Coordinate the arm action, block the front arm at eye level, and also allow the hip to move forwards and up to lift you off of the ground. Okay, the third takeoff drill requires you to swing both your hips into the takeoff position alternatively. And the objective is to really create forward momentum by a purposeful swing of the hips. So that is a theme of all these drills, getting that front thigh elevated and held in front of the hips in order to direct the movement. So here, foot comes down, swing the hip. Other foot comes down, swing the hip. Series of alternate takeoffs, but it's not a true skipping drill. It's a takeoff drill. You wanna go forwards and up. But the utilization of the hips is crucial. Next up, it's a free leg landing drill with one step between each. And here, you're employing that direct hip drive again, but there's more speed as you land, take a step, swing into the takeoff position, take a step, swing into the takeoff position, and so on. Really step quickly between each takeoff and drive the thigh up and block the arm. Drill number five is a variation on drill number four the step swing takeoff drill with one step between here. As you can see, the athletes, the jumpers have a partner and the idea is to go higher than normal by aiming their hip at the other athletes jumpers hand. The key is to really attack the hand to swing up and try to get the hip close to the other athletes hand as you move forwards. The first contact, rather the first takeoff, won't have enough speed, but as you build speed, then you really do attack the hand and try to get that greater elevation. The height can't be too high because you don't want to go up and come down and stall, but you need to rise up towards the hand, and that's going to teach you the ability to develop greater height and the hip swing from the board and also power up your takeoff. Now we'll do most of these drills on both legs. Obviously we have the alternate one, but we will work right and left sides for the other takeoff drills as we want to keep some symmetry, some balance between both sides of the body. And of course, hip swing is vital for sprinting as well. So we do need parity between both sides of the body. The five drills that you've seen normally form part of a training unit in a specific workout. Now, also in that workout will be run-ups and specific technique work at the pit. So we're trying to incorporate the movements that we've done in the drills into actual specific pit work for obvious transference reasons. At this time of the season, which is very near to the indoor season, we will be doing takeoff drills two to three times a week. And as well as the five that I've shown you, I've got a lot more. And in other videos, I'll be describing some of those other ones. We try to get more and more specific as the season approaches with the speeding up, for example, of takeoff drills and the increases in the force that the jumper has to overcome. If you have any specific questions on the subject matter of this particular video and the content, the takeoff drills, then do leave a comment in the section below or through my other social media. And good luck with any competitions and your training. Of course, it's very close to the indoor season now at the time of making this video. So I'll be posting some videos on how the various jumpers, the various age groups of jumpers and abilities in my training group do. So do look out for those and do leave any comments you have on how you're doing. And if you'd like to take your training knowledge to a higher level, then do consider becoming a channel member. Recently, I've posted two coach athlete member videos on the channel, which give you an example of the type of content that I post in the members area. To find out more, head over to the channel's homepage, click on the members button, 